the end of this match and South Africa have gambled once again with Mark Andrews at number eight to lend assistance in the lineouts and the scrum and very importantly for South Africa they will want to scrum New Zealand as hard as the all eyes have been on John Alomu number 11 the left wing of New Zealand terrific uh, footballer 1.95 meters in height and 118 kilograms but surely the New Zealand pack of forwards with Graham Bishop and Andrew Mertens at halfback are the key to success for them today. Now Mertens, the midfielders are strong, they stay on their feet. That's Bunt, South Africa, get him down. Such an important kick for New Zealand. As he swung that through, yes, Merton's first blood to New Zealand. Just to bear. Now, what does Merton's do? He'll look to drop. It's a good effort from him, but it's just... It, it started off quite well from Andrew Merton's and then uh, just swelled a little bit, but he keeps his side on the attack. New Zealand deciding to go short line out. They've got... Uh, Jones, but this is Francois Pinar. Once again, good ball for South Africa. Stransky. That's good play by Stransky. Looking to drop and then finding space on the inside. Well, South Africa are getting over that advantage line against the All Blacks, and that's critical. Well, took it's pressure from South Africa that's allowing them to get finally established himself as South Africa's premier goal kicker there's not a lot of difference between Mertens's first kick and this one of Stransky's the crowd will tell you if it's over well a pretty fair reflection of the play so far as you were saying, the first five minutes was all New Zealand, second five minutes mostly South Africa, and uh, this is... It's a great jump by Ian Jones. That's quality possession from the lineouts that uh, New Zealand are getting. This is Lomu. He's found his way down the middle. Mark Andrews interrupted that initial surge, but South Africa are offsides. Bali Swat goes offsides in front of the... Having got that first penalty behind you is so important. Often this is classified as a sitter, but at this level of rugby, they know sitters, they're all critically important. He struck it well. South Africa decide not to test the New Zealand scrum because Andrews is the man picking up. He didn't quite go into that set piece. Panavesta isn't looking to go himself. That's Penny LaRue up there. Is this going to be a try for South Africa? Well, take no, take nothing away from New Zealand in doing so well to keep that ball off the floor. That was Ruben Kruger. Better position now, though, closer to the New Zealand goal line. Once again, it's Andrews at the back. In goes Mulder and Van der isn't to lend the shove. They're pushing New Zealand back. Well, that was a great scrum from South Africa and a huge psychological advantage. The crucial role of the kickers continues. Mertens, two penalty goals. Stransky, one. Will it be two? Dead quiet in the stadium. Stransky again. Well, 21 minutes gone then in this Rugby World Cup 95 final. Uh, both teams locked there at six points each. South Africa will put everything into the scrum. It's Andrews at the back. Well, New Zealand are penalised for taking that scrum down. It's 
Stransky's record in Rugby World Cup 95 is an outstanding one. Certainly has grown in confidence. That's a good strike from Stransky, but it doesn't curl in like it very often. On the big man's back on his feet, all 118 kilograms of him. This is Jonah Lomu again. It's amazing how he finds space, but he's got strength and speed. Kronfeldt. Hello, Brown takes it on New Zealand. A huge surge from them. Well, South Africa will be relieved that there was a knock on as they came surging through. But once again, Jonah Lomu is showing that he doesn't need that much space to be a really dangerous runner. Once again, it's Ian Jones, but the bounce is unkind to New Zealand. Van der Vestesen, he does well. That's Golf, uh, James Small and Chris Rousseau. South Africa playing with a lot more purpose. This is Mark Andrews. Find some space, Andrews, and then Curtis Bissar. Once again, good ball for South Africa. Can they make something of it? Rousseau for the third time involved in that move Ruben Krieger now to stretch it Stransky down the line it goes and this is Andre Dupin New Zealand really have been equal to the task with those South African thrusts in the midfield Stransky's got lots of time can he get it straight yes he's got it Mertens as, with as much time as Stransky had with a drop. Is this through the middle? No, just past the right hand upright. <laughs> Whose kick will it be? That of Bishops or Mertens at the back? Mertens takes well. Once again, a big punt from him now. Can Chester Williams make something of this with Joubert? It's a long drop from Andre Joubert. A very stout effort from him. Now Osborne, he loves to attack, just no thought of putting the ball down. And he knew there was space on the far side because James Small had charged after that drop. Zinzan Brook. Chris Rousseau does well to go low, put him down, but South Africa going over the top. Well, his confidence levels are high. This is a real test for the young man, 22 years of age. Confident and educated boot does Andrew Mertens have. Struck it well, but it'll swing wide. He says, so play goes on. But if Estazen does well to run wide to assist with the defensive work, this is Osborne. Now Jonah Lomu and uh, Andre Joubert, the big man has got strength. What a great tackle from on the attack. Now, how does straight a vital role? Mark Andrews, Quibus Visser in the front. New Zealand get it. This is uh, Walter Little, Little looking for space. Once again, New Zealand decide to go left, but this is Mertens' drop. It's there. It certainly couldn't be more even. And the All Blacks doing very well to drive up to such a good attack. Joseph stands off. Mertens looks to launch on the far side again. This is Osborne. He was unmarked. Was uh, Glenn Osborne? Great running from uh, the New Zealand fullback. Well, New Zealand said that part of their game plan was going to be to play off Lomu and use uh, Glenn Osborne man in picture and Jeff Wilson as much as they can Jones now is this Mertens again with a drop goal he struck it high no now we'll use for the and kick for space yes back foot is Mark Ellis Mark Ellis he's got plenty of pace as Mark Ellis on the outside to Walter Little and then Jonah Lomu but the pass was forward well, South Africa will feel a little bit heartened by that forward pass because Lomu managed to get round James Small. 
Just a friendly little tap of the hand from James Small and Jonah Lomu. They know they're in a massive contest the other day. One of the lowest scoring matches in Rugby World Cup 95. Nine points all, three minutes left. New Zealand once again show their supremacy in the lineouts. Frank Bunce. Just Cronfeld was right on his shoulder. This is Mertens again. Has he got this drop goal? No, it swung wide. Well, he won't be pleased about that. He's he got the one drop go, but he's missed three, and that was a good ball from the, the ruck. He would, of course, been a hero if it had gone over. Here he is again with it, and it seemed to slice off the side of his boot and missed. Lucky bounce might have let him in, but uh, the bounce went the way of uh, the All Blacks into touch. Now Fitzpatrick, it's on his shoulders, he finds Jones again, Jones so easily just going up with two hands, and then Bishop can bring the release. Well control in the lineouts is so, so important, and Ian Jones has shown today for New Zealand that he's able to do that. Well that's the closing, the closing score, nine points all, and now there will be a five minute break. This is the first time in the match. Now, what does Stransky do? Looking to go inside. That's a hoist from him. Stransky did well to step inside. But Yapi Mulder was offside from that kick. So, New Zealand, well, this is an opportunity for them. Most important kicks in young Andrew Mertens' career as an all back. Normally shown a lot of confidence has he struck that well a great kick from Andrew Mertens Williams has had few opportunities in this match he shrugs off that tackle from Mark Ellis extremely well done by Chester Williams he kept uh, that ball and this is James Small Well, the pass went forward, so uh, South African hands are on their head. Joel Stransky feels quite alarmed. So Chris so looking for Hannes Stradham. That's the tap down. It was well played by Peter Durant. Get New Zealand onto the back foot. Stransky. This time the South African mid midfielder onside. That's the tap down. Pagel picks up. Well, penalty's gone South Africa's way because New Zealand went over the top there. Stopped that ball from coming out. This is his kick of great importance from Stransky. Yes, he's got it. Well, remember that we have two halves of just 10 minutes in this extra time playoff. And we've had then the two penalties, one from Mertens and one from Joel Stransky. Van der Vestijs and Stransky looks for the drop. Has he got it? Yes, it's over. Stransky's drop number two in the match, and South Africa are in the lead. 15 points to 12. Just seven. And look at this again. Stransky even under pressure from Mertens, and he gets his kick in. Beautiful, stylish kick. Head down, follows through, and he is delighted. All the Springboks arms went up in delight, but it's not over yet. And he will have to defend like never before. Ruben Kruger takes well at the back and finds space. Oh, that ball, the New Zealanders went over the top to pull that ball away. That was just Kronfeldt. No time left in this match. South Africa lead 15 points to 12. Defence has been so good that this kick is so vital for South Africa, but it's not going to curl in. Is this the last scrum of the match? Stransky and Henny LaRue are moving around. LaRue goes in. That is it. The final whistle in South Africa. Win this Rugby World Cup final by 15 points to 12.